Hello everyone, I'm Sister Adrian. Joining me again is Sabrell. Um, we did um, we did multiplication videos in the past. Today we are going to do a division video with three different methods. We're going to discuss long division, partial quotient, and a rectangle method. Sabrell is going to demonstrate long division and partial quotient. And I will demonstrate the rectangle method at the end. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so for this so for this long division, this is the symbol, like this. And then we put, so this is the divisor, which is five. This is the question is one, one to 25 divided by five. So you put five right here, then you put 125 inside. Mm -hmm. So what you do, you see if five can go into one and five can't go into one so you put a zero on top that represents the zero represents how many times five can go into one and then five five can go into one into twelve two times so you write two right here and then you multiply it and then you multiply it two times five equals um, 10, and subtract it, 2 minus 0 equals 2, 1 minus 1 equals 0, and then you have to bring down the 5, and then 5 here, and then 5 can go into 25, um, 5 times, you put 5 right here, 5 times 5 equals 25, and you subtract it, and you get zero. Okay, very good, Jabril. Now, what I'm going to do is go through and check Jabril's answer really quick. Make sure that his answer is correct. Now, he wanted to put a multiplication sign there. That's okay. So, let's change the color for the check. Let's change it to blue. So, the way you check this division problem, you take the number on the top, which is the quotient, you multiply the number by the side, which is the divisor. So I'm going to do 25 times 5. So you multiply 5 times 5, which is 25. You put down 5 and carry the 2. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. So when you get the answer, you get 125. 125 is the right answer because it's the same answer as the dividend. So you did an excellent job, Jabril. Great job. Okay, next. Okay, so for our next one, we'll be doing uh, so the same long version, it will be a bigger number, 120 divided by 25. So we write the same symbol. Oh, sorry, that is really off. So we write the same symbol. Make sure you have enough room. Okay. Okay. And then 300, so you write 320 in the middle. So that is the dividend, and then you put 25 on the side. 25 can go into 3, 0 times, and put 0 on top. 24 can go to 32, 1 time. You put 1 on top, 1 times 25 equals 25. You got it. 2 minus 5, you can't subtract that. They Small 12 on top of 2. 12 minus 5 equals um 7. And since he took a 10 from the 10th place, it's 3 equals a 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. Then you bring down the 0, mix that 70. 20 can go into 70. 25. 25 can go into 70. Um, two times. Put two on top of the zero. Two times twenty-five equals fifty. Put five here and put the zero on the bottom. Put five to the left and the zero to the right. And then zero minus zero equals zero. Seven minus five equals two. And so for this, since twenty, since twenty-five can't go into twenty, twenty will be a, a remainder. So the answer. It's 12. And put an answer over there so I can have one. So the answer is um 
answer mm -hmm. is 12, remainder 20. Okay, let's see if Jabril is correct. Okay, thank you, Jabril. All right, so what we're going to do is go through and check this really quick. Let's use red. Okay, again, to check your quotient and make sure your quotient is right. I mean, the check, make sure, yeah, your quotient is right. What you want to do is uh, multiply the quotient times the, the divisor. Right, right. Multiply the quotient times the divisor. You can also use, the, look at the multiplication videos if this is a little confusing to you. Thank you. All right, so you do 12 times 25. Do 2 times 5, which is 10. Put down the 0, carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 more is 6. Put down your placeholder. 2 times 2 is 4, and then 2 times 1 is 2. So what you want to do is you go through and you add these numbers up. You get 0, 6, and 4 is 10. Down to 0, carry to 1, and you get 300. Now remember, Jabril said he had a remainder of 20. So at the end, you have to add the remainder to the answer. So you have 300 plus 20, and you get 320. So this checks out with Jabril's dividend. So that means Jabril is correct again. Great job, Jabril. Woo, you're on a roll. Okay, so now I'll do partial quotient. So we use the same um, symbol mm -hmm. as the long division, but, uh, but you write, but you put a line going down right here. Okay. So you write the numbers 5, 125, and this line is for, so you put mark like lines on it, um, for a reason. We'll get to that. So five, so let's say, I don't know how many times five can go into 125. So I'll say five can go into 100. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that can go into 100 20 times. So you put the 20 right here, and then you'll subtract 100 from 125. So where do you get the 100 from? You get the, you get the 100 because five times 20 equals 100. Okay. And 100 is a multiple of five. Okay, very and good. A multiple is in this situation 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, all the way to 100. And 100 is 1. So you subtract it 5 minus 0 equals 5, 3 minus 0 equals 2, and then 1 minus 1 equals 0. Then you see how many times 5 can go into 25. And I know the 5 can go into, one, in, into 25 five times. So, 5 times 5 mm -hmm. equals 25. Mm -hmm. Subtract that. And then the, and the answer is 0. Then you add these up. And you get 25. And I know that this is correct because I got 25 over here mm -hmm. in the long division. Mm -hmm. So now I will do the next one, which is 320 um, divided by 25. So you do the same symbol, this, then you put that line, mm -hmm. then so after you put that line, you have to do the process. You put the 25, because that is the divisor. Then the 20 in the middle, because that is it's the, the dividend. So you write those lines over here. Mm -hmm. And those are the partial quotients. It's part of the quotient. So they call it partial quotient. Okay. So I know 25 can go into 200 eight times. Okay. So you put three on the side, and you put two hundred beneath the three twenty. The three hundred twenty. You're going to subtract three minus zero equals zero. Three minus zero equals two. 
B minus two equals one twenty. Mm -hmm. And it's still one twenty, and you don't have zero yet. Because when you get zero, you know that your answer is finished. So I know twenty five can go into one hundred four times. So you put four right there, and then do one hundred beneath the one twenty because you're going to subtract it. So where do you get one hundred from? I got one hundred. 25 and go into 100 because 100 is a multiple of 25. Okay. 0 minus 0 equals um, 0. 1 minus 0 equals 2. 1 minus 1 equals 0. And so, like I said, in this one, there's a um, 12 remaining to 20. So, this, if you add it up, you get 12, and there's 20 right here. I'm not done with because it's not 25. And then I, and then now I know the answer is 12 remainder 20. Right. This is answer at the end was 20, and 20 is not a multiple of five. And that's what's left over that's considered to be the remainder. Okay, excellent job. You might have get your answer back again. Excellent. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end it off by doing the rectangle method. This is another way to help people divide numbers. Um, so I'm going to start off by making a rectangle. Okay, I'm going to make a rectangle. Okay, right here. Okay, I'm going to put the divisor on the outside, which is five. And I'm going to put numbers that add up to 125 inside of my rectangle. The numbers that I'm going to use are going to be multiples of five, so I can easily divide them to get a, um to get the quotient. So let's see. I have 125, and I know that five can go into 100. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make one part of my rectangle 100. Oops, I said 100, but I'm writing 120 make one part of my rectangle 100 and then 125 minus 100 is 25 so i have 25 left well, so i'm gonna put 25 right here but you don't have to um subtract you, you just you can do it but you don't have to yeah i did the subtraction because some people might be trying to figure out where i get the 25 from so i did 125 minus 100 so that you can see that this part is 100 and this part is 25. So what you do next is say, how many five can go into 100? And that's 20. And how many fives can go into 25? And that's five. What you do, you add the two numbers and get the sum. 20 plus five equals 25. That's the rectangle method for numbers that don't have a remainder. So this was um, pretty straightforward. Now the bottom one over here, I'm gonna make another rectangle, okay? I'm gonna put the divisor, which is 25, on the outside. And I'm gonna come up with numbers that add up to three, 320, that 25 can go into evenly. Now, I know that 25 can go into 200, it can go into 100 and it can go into you know different numbers so i'm gonna just go ahead and make this very interesting and break the rectangle up into multiple sections so i'm going to do 100 100 okay my boxes might be off a little bit 100 and then okay let me just make it look a little neater let me make them somewhat neat right somewhat even Okay, so I'm gonna put my little 25 right here. Let's do this real quick. All right, let me make this. It doesn't want me to make it. Okay, I got it right. Okay, I gotta delete this real quick, this little mark. Okay. So what I wanna do, I wanna keep this little space right here. What I wanna do, I wanna break it up into 300s using 100 three times. Okay, well, it kind of somewhat looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna put 100 right here. 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 300, and I wanna put 20 right here. Okay, now I ask myself, how many times can 25 go into 100? 
it can go into 100 four times. 25 can go into 100 four times. 25 can go into 100 four times. 25 can't go into 20. But I know that this is going to be the remainder. So the only thing I need to do is just add my numbers on top, which are considered to be my um, partial quotient. And so I say 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. And here I have a remainder of 20. So my answer is 12 remainder of 20. Now the rectangle method is really good for people that are really struggling um, with their multiplication um, facts and they just want to be able to break a number down. You can break it down um, as much as you want to. You just have a lot of small parts. The bigger the number that you use or the bigger the multiple, the bigger part you will have in your rectangle. But if you break it down, you're going to have a lot of little pieces. And that's okay. As long as, as long as you get your answer at the end, it doesn't matter how many times you break it down. So thank you for joining me and Jabril. And I hopefully you enjoy our video. Do you want to say something? Um, yes, we also have different other multiplication videos. So if you want to see those, those are open. Yes. So please watch them and let us know what you think. Okay, thank you and hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. Bye.